All right, so today we are doing a print and cut um, t-shirt. Um, I have a friend who has started a bakery, baking company, and um, he is looking just to have a few things for when they go out to different places. Um, so he sent me this image, um, this one right here, and I am going to print this and, of course, put it on a shirt. So I haven't found any Cricut paper that's been, I guess, reasonable. So the paper that I used for my last printer cut and paper that I'm going to use for this one is this Silhouette paper. Um, it's printable heat transfer and there are only five sheets that come in here so that's why you see all the duplicates here I had already figured out um, how many <laughs> images I could put on and not waste my paper so as you can see it would allow me two big ones and only two big ones I tried to do more big ones and so then I decided maybe I'll put something like in the back of the shirt um, near the collarbone with the same image so I made these little two by two um, images so um, that is that as far as that is concerned so once I have this I don't believe that I have to mirror this image I think I do so I'm gonna mirror the image and then I'm going to hit continue here. And as you can see, the first thing I have to do here is send it to the printer. So I'm going to go ahead and put the printer paper in, send it to the printer, and then I will show you guys the result once it comes out. Okay, now that we have the design printed and it's put on the mat, I'm going to go ahead and let um, the Cricut Maker cut out the design. Um, so on the printer, it'll say print it. It'll say number two. You have to select your printable iron on. This is printable iron on dark. So I've selected that. Um, it's asked for the pressure. And of course that's default. And now I am going to get this party started. Oh, and it didn't take it. If it ever does that where it doesn't pull your mat through, just hit your arrows again and then you'll get an opportunity to do that again. So, hit your arrows. And now it's letting us go ahead and start the process. So if you watch one of my other videos of the print and cut, the one where I have the Mr. Fish on the front, you see, I talked about this before, where um, it uses some type of lighting, laser, I don't know what that is, just to make sure that it has the correct alignment before it actually starts the cut. Now it's making sure it has the correct blade, and now it's gonna get ready to start cutting out the design. And as you can see, it's going right around the corner. Um, there's a bleed option, which I keep on, just so that you can have that extra bleeded area. Um, hopefully this is not too shaky. Um, but it have that bleeded area, so that way you won't cut off any of the important part of the design that you're wanting to keep so as you can see it is cutting these out so I'm going to let it do that so this video isn't long with you just watching it cut over and over again so I will be back in a few moments for the next part of this process you're going to actually get the image off of your paper mm -hmm. 
And then you would place it. Now I still have to print the words that I want to go around here. But as you can see, hopefully you can see, that way you can see that it turned out just like it was printed so I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna go ahead and print the lettering and then I'll be back so just a quick note um, when we did the cutout the paper was faced up um, when we're doing just the vinyl letters you, you can kind of see there's a shiny side to this you can see it kind of picking up that reflection and then there's a matted side. The matted side is the side that you want to have facing upward um, because that is your actual vinyl. Um, and so you just want to cut out what you, again what you need and start the process. Let's turn that for you. for this just trying to get you to see everything there we go so again I'm just gonna let this cut and I'm gonna have a 20 minute video does it need to be so I will see you guys in a bit okay now I have placed everything where I want it um, so I've already got the press heated up um, so I'm just gonna put the press down I have it on 305 for um, 30 seconds which is the normal temperature of just vinyl so probably gonna check it here in a few seconds just to make sure it's not messing up my and it is not so Cricut heat press has been wonderful to me I love it love it love it all of the things that I use today the Cricut maker the Cricut press um, some of the vinyl the silhouette paper will all be in the um, description box so um, as you can see it is on there and I'm gonna shake this out let's cool it down a little bit and then I will slowly at a slant pull off Paper. So and just as a safeguard for me, it's like there's a little bit of like a few of the letters popping up, and I surely don't want the letters to fall off of this shirt. So I have also bought this paper, which I will put in the description box too. It's just a, like an oven paper. So I'm just, I just put it on for a few more minutes just to make sure, a few more minutes, a few more seconds, just to make sure that it is um, doing what I needed to do and staying down because I really want to make sure that he gets a good shirt that he can be proud of and wear and not be embarrassed because the letters are popping off. Um, so, you know, I don't necessarily keep it on the whole time because it has been on before and see, so much better. So, that is now his shirt and how to do a print and cut. Um, I've done a, one of these, so that will also be linked in my Cricut Crafts um, playlist. 
So if you have any questions, if you want to see something a little different with the print and cut, please let me know and I will definitely do that as well. So thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Like this video um, and again, leave comments. So I'll see you guys the next time. Thank you, Procrast Creators.